Good morning, everybody. My name is Vasish Karthik, and today I'll be presenting about optimizing basketball shot trajectory, utilizing image segmentation, and computer vision techniques. Before I begin my presentation today, I wanted to go over a quick agenda. I'll start off talking about the abstract of my project, move on to the related works, research problem, research outline, and the results and conclusions of my project before concluding my presentation off with the future steps. Just a brief introduction about myself. I'm a junior at Lindbergh High School, and I have active interest in computer science, business, as well as basketball. And this project encompasses two of my main interests, basketball and computer science, and puts them together in a project. So here's the abstract about my project. In basketball, shot making is the key to the outcome of many high profile basketball games, especially at the college level, as well as the NBA level. To make sure that shot making is at its very high, self-training is essential. It's essential for improvement as well as making shots in an actual game. However, individuals do lack the equipment and technology for self-training in some places, but that's where computer vision and image segmentation techniques play in. Computer vision technology can aid self-training methods and the image segmentation techniques that I developed in my research paper assist in determining an optimum shooting angle for many basketball players. There were two related works that I found out when creating my project. Uh, the first focused on the transactions on pattern analysis, as well as machine intelligence. And the second focused on multimedia tools and applications in the game of basketball. And both of these created um, a platform that I could use to work on my project. So here's the research problem that I aim to tackle. Basketball requires a great level of teamwork as well as coordination. Individual shooting skills are extremely crucial to increasing the rates of successes for the team especially. Insufficient shooting abilities of individual players can expose many basketball teams' weaknesses and can ultimately cause them to lose lots of games. However, shooting efficiently in basketball can play key roles in securing wins to many teams. Identifying shot making techniques in basketball involves finding the release angle, the elbow angle, as well as a knee angle. And in this project, I explored computer vision techniques in order to optimize the basketball's shot trajectory. So here's the research outline that I created. The first thing that I did was collect single person basketball videos of myself, as well as my teammates included. And then I leveraged computer vision technology, as well as image segmentation techniques in order to analyze the player's shot trajectory and then suggest an optimum release angle for more consistent makes the next time around. So the first step in this was the ball and rim identification. After creating the videos, I first had to run through the video and then find the rim's coordinates, and then to make sure that the rim did not have any false coordinates. And this was done by utilizing the TensorFlow library. Then I tracked down the ball's coordinates through each and every singular frame of the video, and I noted these coordinates down as well. Then I had to track the traje trajectory of the ball and to make sure that it fit into the rim's coordinates. If the ball's coordinates did not fit into the rim's coordinates, it was counted as a miss, and a different shooting angle was then suggested to make the shot the next time around. However, when doing this step, I did face a few challenges and mainly it mainly happened when tracking the ball. Sometimes my algorithm tracked my head as the ball as, whether, uh, as well as other objects lying on the outside of the frame as the ball. So to counter this, I had to create an algorithm to look through all the ball coordinates points um, in each and every singular frame in order to try and eliminate all the outlier points. My algorithm then drew uh, the trajectory of the ball with the relevant points, which helped me determine the optimum shooting angle. For example, on the bottom left of this slide, um, the actual ball is over here, but it has taken my head as the ball. And over here, we have two aspects of the ball, which is also incorrect as well. So here are some of the ball trajectory graphs my algorithm created. On the bottom right of this slide, I have the original scatter plot of all the ball's coordinates. These do include the false positives. Um, some of these points do include the algorithm taking my head as the ball, and some of the points include other objects lying on the outside of the frame as the ball. On the bottom left of the slide, I have a basic 2D cutout of the ball's coordinates. Um, this shows the trajectory of the basketball as soon as it leaves the palm of my hand, and these include all the correct points, 
And as the ball's going into the hoop, um, we're able to manually create the optimum angle and give a feedback system for this angle. Here are two more ball trajectory graphs. Um, these helped a little more uh, identify the false positives and remove, remove them. Um, these included the aspects of time. On the bottom left of this slide, I have a line and marker plot um, using the original ball coordinates. This shows the relationship between the ball coordinates as well as the time. The lines show that between each frame, sometimes it takes um, a different object as the ball, which better helps me eliminate the false positives. For example, over here, um, this is taking something else as the ball where the ball is actually here. And luckily, the time aspect of it draws the line between each of it. Um, and this shows that this is indeed a false positive and should not be there. On the bottom right, um, I have a 3D cutout of the ball coordinates. And this has an axis of time, which also better help me eliminate these po false positives. So just an overview of my project structure once again. I started off with the input video, then I moved towards the object detection where I used the TensorFlow library to identify the ball as well as the rim coordinates. Then I moved on to the main program logic where my algorithm curve fit the ball trajectory to create the graphs. And finally, an automated feedback system would recommend the optimum shooting angle for the player itself. Here are the results and conclusions of my study. I first built uh, the ball and rim identification program. Then I developed the ball trajectory diagrams. And lastly, I provided the correct shot trajectory for each player as an automated feedback system. So some future steps that I plan to incorporate, the first being I want to leverage open pose libraries to provide feedback for the knee angle as well as the elbow angle, as these will better help analyze a player's shooting percentages and fix them. Then I would like to analyze existing game footage from NCAA as well as NBA basketball games to validate my program. And lastly, I would like to integrate my program into an app to provide immediate assistance for players and coaches as well as my varsity basketball team next year. Thank you so much for the opportunity to present today. Great, thanks so much. One of the questions that we have is, Let's see. So what the question that we have in the chat is, uh, notice that the most of the pictures were from a specific angle. Have you tested this program with different camera angles? Uh, yes. Um, some of the videos that I was able to generate um, for me and my teammates do test them from different angles. Um, but I found out that when recording from either side um, would better help the video um, and the algorithm determine the optimum angle rather than when placing the camera angle from um, a little bit to the northwest or side of the hoop. Awesome. Thank you so much.